Hello everybody! It's a Grey Shop YouTube channel. My name Ivan. Recently our team visited Army Twori Twori and we record a lot of very interesting materials about new Russian small arms. In this video we will show you the RPL Twori by Kalashnikov Concern and sponsor of this video Shirts Freelancer by Mordertag. You can find this wonderful shirts on our website, link in description. And now let's get started our review. Поехали! So, today we have a unique opportunity to see new light machine gun RPL-20. Well, actually it's only 5.5 kilograms with a longer barrel, 5.2 with a shorter barrel, which is considerably lighter than the M249, but it is a prototype, at least for now. So we'll see how the weight and the dimensions will change. What we need to talk about is basically why this thing is unique. And uh, uh, if you know anything about Russian weapons, you know that so far there haven't been belt-fed 545 machine gun. Uh, there was an RPK, which was magazine-fed in 545, and it was a glorious PK, PKM, PKP, or better known as a Pichinyek. But they were all chambered in 762 by 54 and certain Russian units were always curious about having a lightweight, maneuverable, belt-fed machine gun in 545. And so far nobody developed a mass-produced version of uh, this particular type of weapon. So what we're seeing right here is uh, RPL-20, RP means uh, light machine gun, uh, L means Nanta, which is belt. So basically a belt-fed light machine gun. So two different barrels. They're not quick detach barrels, uh, but depending on the tactical situation, you can actually change from one barrel to the other. If you're expecting some kind of CQB, you might want to use the 16th barrel. If we're talking about longer distances, maybe warfare in the forest in the mountain, a uh, longer barrel would be a great idea. You've got a rail interface, uh, obviously an IR laser, it's a Russian-made SOT Aspid. You have a holographic red dot and then a magnifier behind it. So you've got a full-length rail that you can use for any type of modern scope, thermal imaging equipment, night vision, whatever you want to have. There is a carry handle which is detachable because it's still a very discussed topic. If you even need a carry handle on a weapon, if you don't like it, you can remove it. And I want to show the new stock because it looks like a proper machine gun stock. But, you know, in reality, this is a universal stock that we're right now using on everything from a submachine gun to a heavy machine gun. Uh, you might not recognize it, but I'm going to give you a little hint. Here we have upper portion right here. And there is a special module that you mount underneath the standard stock. And on this module, first of all, you have a adjustable cheek riser and also you have a grip. So you can uh, actually grip it like a proper machine gun. You can uh, have this little uh, handle uh, to put it on top of your shoulder. You can grip it like you would normally grip a machine gun and then just, you know, use it from a proper prone position. So every part of this machine gun was really developed from scratch. It's not based on RPK. It's not based on any existing design. So the bipod, the hangguard, folding sides, all of that was developed for this particular machine gun. Obviously, there are still a few things that are classified about it, but I'm just really happy we can show this weapon because, uh, you know, it's really something incredible and uh, uh, everybody's asking about it, the foreign delegations, the Russians, and it's going to change a few times uh, uh, during the testing, uh, but uh, the fact that we were able to develop such a weapon in a very short time span, and it's not just some, you know, dummy for the exhibition, it is actually working. You can see a video, you can watch a video of this weapon in action. I think it's just a really interesting just a really interesting example of what the capable designers can come up with in a very short time. So I'm sure we're going to see it in the future, but for now, enjoy this new RPL 20.